All right, hey AP Chemistry. I just wanted to give another video on what to do with the equilibrium expression if I have more than one expressions to deal with. So I kind of stole this problem from number eight from your problem set, but instead I gave it two values for each equilibrium. So we have an expression where we have two equilibriums. So we have this H2S aqueous in equilibrium with H plus aqueous plus HS minus aqueous, and then we have HS minus aqueous in equilibrium with H plus aqueous and S2 minus aqueous. Now we saw this in chapter 14, what we do if I have two steps, if I want to get the overall reaction, I add up each individual side and put them together. So if I want to do the overall reaction, I'm just going to add all my lefts and add all my rights. In your textbook and in some other examples, they do this whole crossing crisscrossing out of both sides, but I'm going to show you the long way. So if I just add all my reactant side, I'll have H2S aqueous plus HS minus aqueous. And then I'll have, this looks like it's 2H plus, right? Because I'm just going to do it anyway. So in equilibrium with H plus aqueous plus H plus aqueous plus HS minus aqueous plus S2, oh, S2 minus aqueous. That was a little typo there. All right, and so now, kind of like in algebra, when you add or rearrange or try and get all your common factors on one side, I'm gonna combine like terms and cross out that are on both sides. So first, in crossing out something that's on both sides, it looks like my HS minus is shown on both sides. This would be, first, I wrote overall reaction. I just added all my reactants, and I added all my products, by the way. And now I'm gonna cancel out common terms or combine like terms. So I have an HS minus on the left side, and I have an HS minus on the right side. So I'm gonna cancel those out. They both show up on both sides, so they ain't doing anything. It also looks like I have two H pluses on the right side, so I'm just going to combine those, and I have an S2 minus. So in general, I'll have H2S aqueous in equilibrium with two H plus aqueous plus S2 minus aqueous. Okay, and this is going to have a K. I'm going to call it K3 value. Now notice when I combined all like terms. This is still balanced. Two H's, two H's, one S, one S. And in the question, it says, oh, this reaction can, is, happens in two steps. And you're going to see this when we get to our acid-based chapter where we have something known as a diprotic or triprotic acid, which the H plus kind of falls up stepwise. So what do I do with my K's when I combine two reactions? Well, when just to simplify, when I combine two equilibrium expressions, all I do is multiply their k's. So I ha so my k3 is just going to be equal to k1 times k2. So 5 times 10, that's equal to 50. So this k is going to be this. To prove that, I mean, I'll, I want to still draw equilibrium expression so we know that. If I want to do the equilibrium expression for K1, it's just H plus HS minus over H2S because it's products over reactants. So concentrate H plus, concentration of HS minus, all over concentration of H2S. And then my K2 would equal concentration of H plus, concentration of S2 minus all over the concentration of HS minus. And then this KC, so we can see where this compares, K3 would be concentration of H plus squared, concentration of S2 minus over the concentration of H2S. Notice how in this reaction, I don't need HS minus. And so the harder and more explanation of why I'm multiplying these two expressions together is, what do I got to do with these two expressions to make it look like this one? Well, if you understand algebra to a great extent, if I multiply both these together, my H's will 
combine, my HSs will cancel out, and my S2 minus will remain there with my H2S on the bottom. So if I multiply these two expressions together, I'll have these HSs cancel out, and I'll have to combine H plus, H plus, S2 minus, all over H2S, and that'll look like this, where I have H plus squared, S2 minus, all over H2S. So again, in general, if I combine two reactions, I just multiply their Ks. So I had a K1 was five, I made, up, I made up this number. And this is your answer to question number eight on the problem set. So if you wanted to get a little bit of a help and head start on how to do that. So I just made up a number, K1 is five, K2 is 10. If I wanted to get this overall reaction for both these steps, my K3 would just be five times 10 or K1 times K2. Okay, so this was just a brief video on the third type of way to manipulate a K, uh, an equilibrium expression. So I'm hoping this was helpful and you have these examples in the future. You will see a lot of questions like this, especially in your multiple choice, that are just like, what happens to the equilibrium expression when I do this? Or how do I write an equilibrium expression? Okay, all right. If you have any other questions or concerns, please let me know.